In John 11, Jesus says that he is the resurrection and the life. But many times it doesn't feel like he's the resurrection and the life. When we pray to God to intervene on our behalf, he can answer in one of three ways. Yes, no, or wait. And often in our waiting, we can begin to believe untruths about God. That he's waiting because maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he's waiting because he doesn't love us. But in John chapter 11, the same chapter where Jesus says that he is the resurrection and the life, we find an incredible story. Martha and Mary send word to Jesus that Lazarus, their brother, is ill. And Jesus loves this family. And it says something very curious here in verses 4 and 5. It says, Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Hear what it says there? It says that because Jesus loved this family, he waited. So Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And because everything that Jesus does, everything that God does, is out of love, even his waiting is not because he doesn't care and doesn't love you, but precisely because he does love you. And we see later in this story that Jesus is true to his promise, that he does say yes to this prayer, that he has the stone rolled away from the tomb that Lazarus has been dead in for f over four days and, and stinks. And he says, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus rises from the grave, showing that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. You see, the book hasn't been completed yet. The last chapter is yet to be written. And Jesus' promise to you and to me is that the last chapter is that he is the resurrection and the life. So that no matter what we're going through, no matter what we're waiting through, that he will be true to his promise to you. Amen.